The 2023 governorship election may be coming up in March 2023, but the governor of Oyo State, Shei Makinde, is not leaving anything to chance as he takes his campaign to Okeogu Zone. In Iwajowa, Itesiwaju, and Kajola local government areas of the state, the reception for Governor Makinde and his team is encouraging. <laughs> As he goes from one community to another, he encourages the people there to vote for him a second time to consolidate on all the gains of his first term. We're not just stopping at the agribusiness this time around. We are also having solid uh, minerals development and tourism. And uh, the suspended lake at Adu Hawaii, you have only two of such in this entire world. One in Colorado in the USA and this one here. So what we're saying is we will attract a world uh, class uh, uh, a tourist uh, uh, resort into Adu Hawaii. For some members of the People's Democratic Party in Oyo State, Governor Shei Makinde is the best option for the state based on his performance and reception accorded him by the residents of various communities is visited. It's not just what we are saying. It's what the governor has been enabled by God and by discipline, by focus to, to perform. See how people are coming out. See what he has done. See what he's still doing and what he will do. In this 2023, I doubt it. Even if they go to heaven to vote, he will win. Religious leaders are not left out of Governor Mackinday's campaign shadow as he makes out time to visit them at their various places of worship where he reels out his achievements and a promise of what he intends to do if given another chance.